Pratima Dharm, the first Hindu chaplain in the U.S. Army. Goodness, um, I'm speechless actually. And uh, for some strange reason, my heart doesn't race so fast always, but it is right now. Uh, but it's really good to be among my people. Being in the U.S. Army, I don't come across a lot of Indians, by the way. So when Colonel Chaudhary is sitting here, and I have a lot of respect for him, and he's been part of uh, the Hindu chaplaincy story as well for many years, uh, we, we really live among a very diverse population. So I'm really and truly honored and touched to be among my people, and I mean it. I just uh, wanted to first of all thank God, Bhagwanji, I call him in my language, um, the ultimate truth for me, and uh, without him I would have not reached this far. I just trust him. I don't know where he's taking me, but I just trust him each day, and uh, he is my guide, and uh, he has led me this far, and uh, <clears throat> thank you, God. I mean it, and uh, um, I really want to thank my parents. Uh, they are with me. Um, Mr. C. N. Singh is my dad, Baba, <clears throat> and my mom is Saraswati Singh. She's present. And it was their values. I was raised in India um, in a very middle-class family. We come from Zamindar family, but dad gave up the land and all that. So we pretty much grew up uh, middle class. But uh, the values were what he was raised, we were raised with. And uh, there were some good, strong values. And one of the most important things that we were taught at home was to respect every religion, to respect and allow that space to everyone, uh, no matter what they believe in and to just accept people the way they are, and not to try and change them, but to just accept them the way they are. And this is the beauty about uh, the Sanatan Dharm, not just Hinduism, but Sanatan Dharm, out of which you know, other religions have come, Buddhism, Sikhism, Jainism, and other Eastern religions. And so that's the beauty of that place. And I thank my parents for that. I thank my husband, uh, Dharam Rajendran, Dharmendran Rajendran. <laughs> Uh, I want to tell you why I want to thank him for this. I wanted to marry a person who would not take dowry. This was taught to me by my father. And I remember asking him the first thing, are you going to take dowry? And he really was interested in marrying me, but um, I put this question to him and he said, let's not even talk about it. And um, he was that interested, it seems. Um. <laughs> uh, but he did not take dowry, and I respect him for that. It was not a love marriage, but sort of love marriage. But, um, he's a Tamilian. I'm a Rajput from the north, uh, grew up in Bombay and uh, all that. But it's worked out good by the grace of God. <laughs> I have my two beautiful daughters, Pooja and Pyle. They are with me. And... Uh, they're 10 and 5, and they have really taken care of me. My older daughter took care of me when I was pregnant and I was about to deploy. She actually would open my boots every day because I couldn't bend over to change my boots. I was so big. And after which I deployed, my husband took care of uh, my, our kids and my mother-in-law. Leela Wati, she's not here today. She took care of my kids, and she's, she's also quite a strong woman in her own right. My father-in-law, C.M. Rajendran, uh, he's passed away, but a great man, and he's not with us today, but I really thank him, and I always feel his presence in our marriage and in my life uh, each day. I want to thank uh, Dr. Sharat Singh. He's my brother-in-law, and he's like my brother. Why? Because he has helped me at a time where I really needed it. Uh, so I really acknowledge him today, Dr. Sharat Singh. He's a senior scientist in California. Please. Stand. He's very shy. And my sister Namita Singh, she's my second sister. She's here. Um, and uh, again, I have my nephew Sidan Singh here with me. So I thank all of you for being here. 
My other sister, older sister, Anita, Anita Gandhi, Kamlesh Gandhi, my brother-in-law, they couldn't be here, and my brother in Bombay, Amitabh Singh, who believed, me, believed in me each day. And he said, it's better to be in the system and change the system than just be an idealist. And I remember taking so many walks, and I wanted to change the world, but I couldn't. And he said, believe in it, but you've got to stay in the system. And so today, as a Hindu chaplain, I am in the system, and I'm doing things to change things for Hinduism and the way my people are looked at in the diverse world each day. And I'm doing that. Thank you so much.